Hey guys, welcome back to Droid Zap because today we are going to be doing another drawing. Um, so if you're new to the channel, I'm Zach and this is Frankie. Um, and so what are we going to draw today? Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and make sure to stick around till the end of the video because I'll be back. Yep, that's right. So we're going to be drawing Raphael and stick around until the end because she will be back. Right. So, um, pause now to go and grab yourself a piece of paper, a pen or pencil and something to lean on um, and we will get started. So, we're keeping the theme of the Ninja Turtles. So, um, let's get started. So, right at the top we're going to do a little bit of a curve like this. It's going to go up quite tall, across and down like this. Okay, and then it's just going to come out and it's going to go all the way around and in like that. And then you're going to join this top bit together because that is the top of his mask. Right, so now we're going to draw the eyes inside the mask. So you're going to draw two diagonal lines and then you're going to join them together like this. Okay, and then you're going to draw two pupils at the top. Well, you can make it look wherever you want, but if you want them to look right at you, then draw them right in the center, but draw them slightly to the left so that it looks like they're looking at you. Okay, now let's draw the mouth. So we're going to draw two little lines like that, and it's going to join up like that, okay? Um, and then now we're going to draw um, the center of him so we're going to draw the um circle on his chest plate which is his belt um so we're going to draw a big circle like that and then you're going to draw a bubble writing r inside it so you're going to do a line right at the left and then you're going to curve it and it's going to come right in the middle and then you're going to do a diagonal line and then they're going to go slightly in on both sides and then you're going to join up in the middle and then you're just going to put a simple d right in the middle okay so now uh, we're going to draw the belt so it's going to come out from this side but not too far okay we're going to join it up like that and then this side is going to be a lot longer but don't join it up yet because we have no idea how far it's going to go okay now let's draw the actual like tummy so we're going to come out right from the edge of this it's going to come out like that, it's going to have a curve um, and then you're going to join it up with a really nice big curve that goes all the way around and then you're going to join it back up with the belt and then you're going to imagine that that line goes straight through that belt it's going to come out on both sides and join up with a simple curve so easy as that okay so now from the beginning of the R from the centre of it I mean we're going to uh, do a big line through the middle and then a big line here and a big line here okay it's going good so far everybody um, so we are going to go on to the legs so right from here we're going to come out right in the corner we're going to come out like this um, and then on this one we're going to come like this and then he has those little red bandana thingies um, on his knees on his legs so we're going to draw a big uh, curl like that and then curve it round like that do another big curl um, and then on this side it's going to come in quite close and this side it's going to be pretty straight so now it's quite thin and now we're just going to do the legs so it's going to come out I'm going to do one big toe another big toe come up and join up right okay on to the second um, leg guys um, we're going to come out like this and it's going to go slightly below the previous leg bandana thingy I should learn what these are called um, and then you're going to do the other side as well okay and then you're going to join it up and you're going to do the exact same thing as what you did before so curve this one and this one's going to be slightly shorter and then you're going to curve it together okay and then we're just literally going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to come out like this. And then one big toe. Another big toe. This one is straight, remember. 
it's going to come out and join it up. Okay, so now we're going to do the arms and then we'll do the shell and then we're literally done. So we're doing pretty good right now. Um, so on one hand on one arm um, he's holding the side like this and the side is pointing down and on the other arm um, on the other arm he's holding it and the side is pointing up so we're going to do the arm uh, where the side is pointing down first so let's draw the side so um, it's going to be a big long line and then you're going to curve it nope you're not going to curve it you're going to do a straight line like that and then on each side of that we're going to do big curl towards the main bit and then you're going to uh, just join them together like that okay um, and then we're going to draw a little bit of the like handle um, and now we're going to draw the actual arm so coming from here I'm going to come out and in like that and then we're going to just come out from here and do the same exact shape okay and then we can finish the handle so once again imagine that that line goes straight through there up both sides and then you're going to join it up and you're going to go out a little bit further on each side come up and join together okay now we just need to do the thumb so we're going to come out from the handle it's going to come in like that and like that and then do the fingernail on the thumb which is literally just straight line okay now let's draw the arm because right now it's just separate um so we're going to come out you're going to draw the original arm and then you're going to draw a bit of a bigger bit and that's going to be a red bandana thingy on his wrist um and then you're going to continue this line out like this um, and then there's going to be another bandana thingy on his elbow, so we're going to join it up. And then this side is going to curve all the way around, and then you're going to join it up again. Okay, and then this side goes straight up to his head. And this side is going to be parallel, but it's hopefully going to join up with the top of that shell. Okay, um, now um, we're going to draw the other side, which is pointing upwards. So we're going to start on the other hand, on the other uh, side. Gonna come up, make, try and make it uh, roughly the same size. Come out. I'm going to do the exact same thing like he did before. Curve it up and then join it up. Okay, but now we're not going to draw part of the handle, we're going to draw the thumb straight away. So we're going to do a little line coming out from here. Right, I'm going to just pause and do that finger now before you forget. And then it's going to join up with this side, okay? And then you're going to imagine that it goes all the way around. And then out of this side is the fingers. So it's going to come out, join up with the thumb, and it's going to go right there. And then just like before, you're going to come out and do the exact same shape. Okay, do fingernails on that. And now you can do the handle and the little edge bit where you think it is on this side. And that is both of the sides done. So let's draw the arm. So, um, from this thing, we're going to draw the uh, other red bandana thingy um, that's on his wrist. So it's going to come out like this, just like that, just a simple line like that. Um, and then from this hand, you're just going to join it up and it's just basically just going to go straight to the head. And then this one isn't going to join up with anything, it's just going to go straight right there okay right now we are onto the shell so we're doing really well guys um oh i forgot at the start let's just draw the little uh, other bit where he's tied it round on the bandana thingy around his head this is getting really confusing and you can just draw two of them whatever shape you want long short whatever you want okay and now we're going to draw the shell so you're going to come from this leg going to come out a bit and then it's going to go through the belt imagine that it goes through and then it's just going to keep parallel with that until you get to where that just above where that line is you see that one right there and then you're going to join it up like that and then you're going to come out even further like that okay um and now we're going to do the final bit of the shell so it's going to come all the way from further down the leg but stop before you get um, into the belt 
because you need to finish that off. So you're going to just make it ever so slightly longer than where that shell is and then you're going to join it up, keep it parallel with the other, li uh, the other line and go like that through. And then you can just imagine that it goes around the full body, maybe put it up here, down here, into here, maybe in the middle of the legs as well. And then the final step of this entire drawing, well done everybody, is um, to just put some simple lines on it. As many as you want. Just like that. Okay, and we are done. So, um, well done everybody. So now um, we are going to go um, into speedy mode with our colours. So, these are all of the colours that you need. Okay, so pause now and go and grab all of these colours. Um, and we will get into speedy mode. But before we go into speedy mode, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, right, let's get into speedy mode. Are you ready guys? Three, two, one, speedy mode! time is over now guys um but look at our finished um drawing um so um don't forget to check out my previous videos like um leonardo and donatello um and don't forget to also check out michelangelo which we will do next week um and also next week we are going to be doing um double we are going to be double posting so there will be in two videos waiting for you next week so don't forget to check out them um thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe.